Batman the video game has grown to be an iconic Sunsoft platformer over the years. And after playing it for the first time a few years ago, it quickly ended up being one of my favorite games of all time. Maybe it's the dark yet colorful color scheme, the awesome wall jumping mechanics, or it's tough but playable essence, but I just can't get enough of it. The game is loosely based on the 1989 Batman film, which I haven't seen since I was very little. The game isn't very much like the movie, mostly only the cutscenes. Although a few of the stages do loosely resemble scenes from the film, like the bell tower. Most of the game takes place in various sketchy factories, where you're dodging dripping green ooze, tons of robots, I especially like this one. It looks like a Roomba or something out of Wally. -E. Dudes with sunglasses and guns, and even dudes with flamethrowers. Or maybe it's spray paint. I first did a video on this back in 2017, where I made it to the Joker, but I didn't beat it. Well, I made it a point recently to beat it on stream, and I finally did it! Much like Castlevania Dracula's Curse, this has also been a big gaming achievement of mine, so it was really rewarding to finally beat it. So let's talk about it. Personally, I can fly through the first stages of the game relatively untouched. But once you get to the third stage, that's where the jumpy guys come in and where you really need to start saving your weapons. Because unless you're one of the people who know how to beat these dudes with your fists, you're gonna need what I call the fidget spinner. If you mess this up enough times, you may have to completely restart the game, which is super annoying. The weapons in this game are great, and there is nothing more satisfying than using a battering on some of these dudes. But the more you play it and get the hang of how to jump on platforms next to enemies, you really can handle most enemies with your bare hands. Because you're Batman. Or, according to my outfit, Batgirl. But not really. I'm Eren, and I need weapons sometimes. Which leads me into farming! Farming can be tricky in this game, but after playing through the game on Twitch, one of my stream regulars, shout out to E-Tink, suggested the tip of using your gun to farm and that makes things so much easier. My hands really started to hurt during this playthrough, so using the gun instead of your fists really gives your tired fingers a break. But with this particular playthrough, I didn't really find myself running out of weapons or getting too low. I mean, once I got better at stage 3, I was fine. Another cool trick to keep in mind, especially during the final stage of this game, is learning when and how you can despawn certain enemies. Now, this only easily works in a few places. Like here with this flamethrower dude, and here with one of the reachy arm bots. So all you gotta do is run up to the sprite, see it on screen, then run back a bit. And, once you go up to it again, poof, it's gone! Now, let's talk about bosses. The first boss in this game is super easy. All you gotta do is duck and use your batterings, and before you know it, he's done for. After that, the difficulty slowly increases with the stage 2 boss, which is this giant machine that consists of three parts. And I actually really like this boss. For the first two sections, I personally use the gun, and then for the final part, use my fists. This part is tricky because if you don't know exactly where to stand, you get hit right in the face. But once you know the spot, you're good. After this, you encounter the Electrocutioner, who jumps around and slams you with waves of electricity or something. Then you encounter two boxes that each want you dead. I found this boss to be interesting, not only because I have no idea what the hell it's supposed to be, but I like the aspect of punching the crap out of the first box and then using weapons and dodging the second. It's just satisfying. And then after that, it's Joker time! Well, almost. First, you gotta defeat this guy, who the internet tells me is named Firebug. He's pretty easy once you get a rhythm down of jumping and using weapons. And finally, you're face to face with the Joker, and he really, really, really sucks. And it took me a lot of attempts. What's hard about it is you barely have any time to react, figure out what he's doing, and get a pattern down. Before you know it, you're dead. And of course, once you've used up your lives, it's back to the beginning of the level, which includes what I call the Tower from Hell. 
After doing this over and over and over again, I finally mastered this level and eventually figured out what I was supposed to do with the Joker. It's basically all about turning and dodging the lightning attacks, all the while staying on top of him and punching him like crazy. I don't know how many hits he takes, but it's a lot, and managing to stay alive the whole time is truly a test of patience. But I finally did it with barely any health left to spare. Fuck, I'm fucked. Shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm like, boom! Look at him go. I'm so happy, you guys. I am so happy because this is one of my favorite games, but I've never beaten it. And now I finally beat it! So that's how I finally managed to beat Batman, the video game. Do any of you guys have games that you tried really hard to beat and then you finally did it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.